kept hearing this one story that really intrigued me. It was uh, the story of a girl in Montgomery, Alabama, who refused to surrender her public bus seat to a white passenger almost a year before Rosa Parks did it. And I thought, I have got to find this person. This is the book that we did together called Claudette Colvin, Twice Toward Justice. And I just want to say uh, how much I admire her, how grateful I am to Claudette for sharing her experience with me, how happy I am that history, we didn't lose the story of her courage. So I'm here because I hope that my story will inspire others to stand up when there's an injustice done to their neighbor or you speak out wherever you find injustice. Um, my uh, experience goes back to March the 2nd, 1955. But I had had years of bad experiences of segregation. So March the 2nd, uh, when this happened, I just, you know, it just all come to surface. Now, it was in a, an impulsive act. It was not planned. And then I said, oh, no, this is the day for me. (laughs) So I did not move. You know what it felt like? It felt like Harriet Tubman was pushing me down on one shoulder and Sojourner Truth was pushing me down on the other shoulder. History had me glued to the seat. I could still vividly hear that key go click. And I knew I was locked in and couldn't get out. And then panic came over me. I was so frightened as a child. People well thought that Mrs. Parks arrest alone desegregated the buses. But it was the uh Browder versus Gale case that uh, went all the way to the Supreme Court. It was four women, uh, two teenagers, and two adults. So I thought the youth should know this story. I think that when you have the gut feeling that something is not right and is unfair, that you should speak out. And then, like, you find someone, speak to someone else and say, do you agree or disagree with what I feel, how I feel about it. But if you feel strongly enough, stand up alone. You have to stand up alone.